Hi, I'm Francie Deeskin with Fresh Point, and today we're going to talk about root veg. Here we've got a nice colorful array of root vegetables, many different shapes, sizes, and colors, but we also have tubers. What's the difference, you may wonder? Not much. Really, from a culinary perspective, it's a moot point. But from a botanical perspective, I can explain it to you. Here we have a carrot. A carrot, along with radishes and beets, these are roots. Above ground, you've got the green stuff. Below ground, you've got the root. Easy, right? No problem. When it comes to tubers, you got the green stuff above ground, and then below ground, you have a system of hairy-like roots, and from that, the tuber will grow. When it comes to a tubers, you can get several tubers from one above ground plant. Okay, so this is a Japanese sweet potato. We also have boniato, we've got sunchoke, we've got jicama. Those are tubers. Culinary uses, again, almost interchangeable. They're great in soups, they're great roasted, they're great sauteed. You can even puree them. When you're selecting root vegetables, you want to take an opposite approach as when you're trying to select a good piece of fruit. On a good piece of fruit, you're looking for a little bit of give, but when it comes to the root vegetable, the harder, the better. When you're storing the root vegetables, the best place to store them is in a cool, dark place, such as a root cellar. I'm from Florida. I've never even been in a root cellar. So from the chef's perspective, put them in the walk-in cooler and use them within a few weeks. And remember, fresh things come from Fresh Point.